My mother always told me to try new things and we're going to have a chat about that because this is a story of how I went to do my black 4C hair in a Japanese hair salon. I'm in desperate need of a glow up. I mean, what's new? I am currently in Tokyo and I am pooping my pants because I'm supposed to go and get my hair done. <laughs> All the salons near me treat hair that is not mine. Straight. But I found a salon online that says it does afro cutting. Okay, so I had to make a quick pancake stop before I went to go and do my hair because obviously I can't do my hair on like an empty stomach but oh my goodness that was so good that was so good I have a full reel about my reviews and everything about the food so make sure you check that out I'll leave it in the description below but that was actually really nice so let me actually let me make sure I'm not getting lost Thirty minutes early to my appointment. I don't know why this always happens. The times I don't need to be early. I'm very early. The times that I need to be early, I am never early. Story of my freaking life. How am I feeling? I'm kind of nervous, but I really like my only request today is that they don't butcher my hair. That's my only request. So obviously, I'm not going to cut my hair. I spent like five years growing it, not so that it can be chopped up eventually. However, I was looking on their website. The day I learned to finish my sandwiches would be a great day for us. But I was trying to say that the next best thing would be to get the Tokyo Inkarami Cure Treatment. And so, ooh, let's freaking go and get it. Okay, this is where it was going to get real. I mean, y'all, I'm trusting this man with my life. So we started off with a wash routine. So after a nice wash, it was time to get the actual treatment. The Inkarami treatment. So you will bring the gift the cream. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's not perming cream. It's just a part of the process. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know what they were putting in my hair. I was just so happy my hair wasn't burning. I did get freaked out when they started doing this though, because I was like, what is this device? Ah? But it's just to lock the moisture in. So it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It wasn't straightening it whilst it was wet. It was just locking the moisture in. Wow, yeah, my hair is so soft. So soft, see, like that. Wow. And when you, so you should visit Japan like one more time. I need to, <laughs> just for my hair, just for my hair. I need to visit <laughs> Japan. not even like they were so nice they were so nice you know there was a lot of questions about my hair like what I do my treatment on a regular basis and for somebody who doesn't do afro hair like every single time I am like pleasantly surprised like going in this my expectations were zero literally I didn't know what was gonna happen in fact I was scared biggest risk of my life and look no look at this this is actually amazing 
this is actually amazing 10 out of 10 for me 10 out of 10 good vibes good conversation 10 out of 10 but the day hasn't ended we need to go and explore apparently there's a really good ramen place nearby so let's go eat some ramen amazing and apparently that's not even like the best um ramen spot in tokyo but like it was so good and i think that it's also down to like what texture what like richness what spices you pick um basically they give you like this little sheet and you're supposed to pick like particular spices so make sure that you pick right um these are what i ended up picking and so try the same thing that i did and see what happens next meeting this youtuber his name is kevin um later on with a bunch of other creator friends of his in the evening which i think is so sick i'm so excited like listen i love meeting new people i think people are such a vibe so i'm a little bit nervous for that but i'm excited to see how that unfolds so i'm just gonna go walk around for a little bit so enjoy the views of tokyo and see you in like a couple seconds So Kevin, imagine the first thing that he makes me do is go to a bar to drink. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It's a kaya. It's a kaya. Yeah. It's a kaya. It's a kaya. What is your favorite alcohol? Okay, so it's called lemon sour. It's literally the best thing ever, okay? okay? It's okay. so sweet. It doesn't taste like alcohol, but it's got a lot of alcohol. When you drink it, you pass on like a bit. Which is not a good part about it, but also a fun part. Yeah, I was going to say, Kevin. <laughs> first, first is a kaya being taken to. The plan is to drink and then pass it on. It's not gonna happen here. Yeah. Well, I have been told by Akiko-san to take good care of you, so no, no. Okay, he's supposed to take good care of me, so yeah. Uh, which okay. is a hot spring. Okay. Uh, so, which is a very weird place yeah. to be recognized. Yeah, very. Because I'm like walking around butt naked, and this guy came up to me and was like, you Kevin, right? I'm like, shit, how do I know this guy? <laughs> He's like, I'm a huge friend. I'm like, oh, like, I don't know. like worst place for you to know me. Worst place. <laughs> like, ah, should I give you a handshake? No, I don't want to hug you. I don't want to hug you. Plot twist. Kevin and I are talking about somebody in New York. And I ha I'm 100% sure that I've met this person that Kevin is talking about. So I'm going to show you on the count of three. And you're going to tell me if this is a guy. Are you ready? So, okay, one, two, three. Oh yeah, that's the dude! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Naked cowboy! Yeah. There we go! He looks butt naked, right? He does look butt naked. He does look butt naked. <laughs> Kevin's drink actually lives up to the hype. Um, <laughs> it's really nice on them, so... It's Kanpai! Okay, thank you. <laughs> I actually really like this. Sweet, right? I like lemon stuff. Oh, oh absolutely uh, so you have any? <laughs> Oh man. Alright, so one of the most famous things that we have, right? It's called uh Geising Sheet. Okay. Geisen Seat. So even the even the pronunciation I lose it. Uh, <laughs> so like uh they say like when you sit on a train, uh and then we hear like a gaijin, which means a foreigner mm -hmm. in Japanese. No one will sit next to you. Okay. That's like a whole struggle people have. Which honestly, I would feel like amazing. I have so but I, I, I haven't really had that experience. Mm -hmm. Have you? Me neither. I see I it on social media quite a lot. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, this Same. is talk. It's big time. They're always talking about it. Gaijin see. Oh, I can't pronounce all anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Order like this. Order three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, so that's another thing. Your katakana. When you start learning katakana, your English pronunciation will get terrible. Okay, what's katakana? You, katakana oh. is this right here. Okay. So, for example, the word ice cream in English yeah. would be in <laughs> Japanese ice cream. <laughs> And convenience store. Yes. Kombini. Kombini. <laughs> so everything just gets almost English, yeah. but not really. So if you have a little bit of imagination, it would be easier to understand these words. And I got I know someone uh beer. Beer. Uh <laughs> said lemon sour, right? It's like that's lemon sour. Yeah. Uh, oh uh club club. And everything is like all oh, Japanese, yeah. and then you start to kind of lose the pronunciation too, and you're like, wait, what did I just say right now? <laughs> what about your favorite parts of Japanese culture? What about that? Yeah, tell me, what's your favorite part of Japanese culture? Let's go. Oh, this is a good angle. I think oh, the safety. Oh yeah, like you lose your wallet, you lose your phone. 
you will get it back. And you know it. You know, that's like when I lost my uh, passport, yeah, no, like, I lost my passport in uh, in California one time. Yeah. And then like as a Japanese person, I called the police and I was like, hey, uh, so do you have my passport that you lost and found? And then they were like, lost and found? What do you mean? I'm like, you know, like a lost and found where people bring things back. They're like, yo, he's lost, it's gone, bro. There's nothing you can do. And I'm like, no. I've lost my wallet and my phone hundred times every time I get it back. Okay. Yeah, we believe you. All your drunken nights. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. We believe you. I just might be a black Bill Gates in the making. So watch this space. Watch this space.